tell you about my thought process. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I don't carry Malaysians. Because mm -hmm. oh, I could not under them for any master. But that one, I don't like her. I don't like what she did. I don't like how she did play again. See me also no, I don't like how some other people are playing the game with this house. I know they had them out. And you do that kind of thing and you just sit and say, but we are allowed to conspire. You're not even sorry. Your complexion, your, your, your heart is darker than that. You see that your black complexion. Your, your heart is darker than that. I love it. Are you good? Are you talking about what the housemates have been up to but before you, before we get right into that please take a moment to like this video and subscribe if you to do so let's get started yeah eleva you approached venita to plead to plead for her friend doing um she was asking venita to try and forgive doing and all that but venita refused venita was even trying to convince eleva telling her that see doing is not good for her giving her instances where she thinks doing is not good for her and all that and Elebe asked her, okay, fine, I've been pleading and all that. Have you for forgiven her? She said no, that um, she hasn't forgiven her, but she'll try to reduce the insult. And I think the insult is a problem here because these people, they started again this morning. They started again this morning. Do you think Elebe should have gone to ask for forgiveness to, 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 to plead for her friend? Do you think she should have done that? She should have gone to um Venita for that, or do you think it was not in her place to do that? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I know a lot of people are against that. Oh, she shouldn't have done that. Oh, she, she, um, she probably should have given a talk. She would have gone later, or she would have allowed doing to do that for herself. Why? Would she, why is she doing that? And all that, guys. I really don't know. Everyone is playing the game in the house. I don't know. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Which one do you? Are you for do you think she should have or she shouldn't have okay let's talk about um doing again venita and doing they've been butting head and this morning it's continued to be honest with you it continued yeah venita according to um what's the name alex venita told doing that not doing venita yeah according to alex venita told doing that doing would never have a child because of what she said about her kids because of the fact that she brought her kids into the whole dragon and this really got to um alex alex said that see words alone can also get you disqualified from the show she now cited an instance where someone was someone was given a strike because the person used some certain curse words but guys to be honest with you i haven't seen that before but she gave an instance and she said that she thinks venita is going too far with her words and know that she has to be careful so she doesn't catch a strike or get disqualified before we knew she attacked Perry because it, it, it was a um it was a conversation that was going on in the pink in pink room and Perry was there she attacked Perry and said Perry is evil why would Perry do such a thing that she, she's just wondering how Perry is with her friends and all that and i'm like okay i understand how you feel about perry right now and you know yesterday she was crying and that her tears really got a lot of people wondering why is she crying exactly like what's the problem she later said she was crying because of what perry did she did not expect that from perry and all that i'm like okay that's quite interesting to know and i think she's taking this so personal like very 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 personal honestly and she attacking perry i'm like is that really called for like, i don't know I, you, 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 you know um, when it comes to sissy and um alex they, they are fighting i don't even know what they're fighting for honestly it feels as though they be, they have a particular script it's just like some city will say something this week alex will repeat it in a different way and i'm like i don't understand that they sat down and they read something i don't know because i've said this before like the words that they say are always similar but in a different way so right now i try as much as possible not to talk about these people because i don't know what they're up what they're up to what their motives are because to me whatever they have does not seem natural and genuine to me i'm talking about alex and um sissy's drama so yeah so this is alex upset at um Perry. and believe me i don't think he has to do with what happened yesterday alone the fact that Perry did not even give her did not give her the, did not pick her for that aqua, aquafina stuff did not give her the badge is also hurting her the fact that Perry um spoke ill of sissy and now is cool with sissy it's also hurting her guys i beg this matter tire me i don't want to dwell on that one so that is it for alex and and um venita because she was the one talking about what venita did and here is venita also telling um eleba to be very careful i've already spoken about the conversion they had but she was shouting and telling eleba say that eleba should have some sense that how can your friend doing say she's loyal to you when she was caught 
sucking someone's nipples i'm like i didn't know doing socks crosses nipples honestly sucking your man's nipples you know um in the house now it seems like cross and eleba are having something of, for me i don't know because that sheep even cross i don't know who is confused in that sheep so they saw her sucking his nipples on several occasions and she's claiming to be a loyal friend saying she was drunk and all that and this is Benita saying that still you have to open up your eyes to see what this guy is what this lady is doing she's not really a good friend but guys what do you think about that what do you think about that and i tell you say eh um don't you don't carry her hand go buy a market there are some people's markets you, you don't point like when you you know how when you go to an open space market you can't go scatter person market in some people market it but even if you pay their money they work hard that still continues this is what's going on she just carry her hand who carry problem with person she didn't say she get bad mouth ha 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 venita is not going to let this be doing has run away from downstairs and she's not upstairs that she does not like at all you know we hardly saw doing upstairs now she's not frequenting upstairs i'm like doing <laughs> this fire will start venita will finish it for you honestly like <clears throat> I understand Venita, so why pick on Venita? Honestly, why are you picking on Venita? I've spoken about this before and I don't even want to repeat it in this video. Anyways, that is it. And this is what Venita is saying. But guys, what do you think? How can you say um this is your man? You have um a friend and your friend loses your man. Your friend is talking your, your man's nipples. Like, what do you think about what do you call that? What do you make of that? And this your friend will not come around again to tell you stories of what your man did. I, I don't know. You see this girl's relationship with with this with um Elebaye is very very questionable very very questionable okay let's talk about ike now let's move on to ike ike is feeling sad regretting what he did but some people have the opinion that ike should not apologize but before i get to that ike story let's talk about the conversation that she had with um with cross regarding Elebaye cross was trying to speak for speak up for elebae he was like elebae is a sweetheart that she's still young that although um she's disrespectful and all that but she's still young she's a sweetheart and he said he understood that he that he understands elebae can be annoying and then he went on talking about her attitude implying that her parents did not train her well that she doesn't have proper home training and for that reason he fears for the up the upcoming the younger generations that it's going to get worse so i'm like are you speaking for or against her she's a sweetheart but who wants to be with someone that is very rude and disrespectful nobody has time to want to see the other side of the person nobody has time once you sting them people will just run away or they will they will attack nobody has time so he's speaking from both sides of his mouth she's a sweetheart she's this trying to say oh people should take it easy on her and at the same time poor parenting she was not properly brought up and it's the it's her home training that is that is taking the front seat here I mean, I mean, I tell, i'm like this thing you said has made everything worse you just would have kept quiet we all know she has attitude issue she doesn't respect anyone and then you know now this is a perfect time for she to throw that those dogs and laugh and become the she we know she is said talking about how he would not let his children to have such attitudes to, to learn such attitudes and that's one of the reasons we are doing this show to change some narrative to teach people more how to be respectful and all that and he started talking about how lazy eleba is and how disrespected she is and when you confront her to do the right thing it becomes a problem and he's hoping that Biggie would play clips we are back to clips again you know we don't see everything we need to see everything because for me i'm of the opinion that biggie should when a problem happens biggie should pause the show play from the beginning to the end let's see you, you see how they call people to the, to the diary room i think he should i mean to the lounge i think he should do that just for the viewers to see let the house sit down and watch everybody will watch play from the beginning to the end we all see it that way that would make make more sense than just seeing the middle middle of the problem and going with your narrative of course they televised it to suit their narrative, narrative and sometimes i don't blame because they don't know that something will lead to a problem maybe it just happened and they didn't show us the beginning because they were giving other people screen time but i think the way they can solve this problem is by putting people in in the lounge the way they did and playing it for all the viewers to see the beginning and the end of it yeah let's leave those let's walk past this whole um clip matter so back to ak 
he just said that he regrets his action yeah but he was triggered by what Ilebaye did to she and i'm like really please tell me something else because the other day you, you said it was kid wire what she did to kid wire not she tell me something else and Peter was like he shouldn't have done what he said what he did and he said the is disrespectful and he tried protecting her initially but she took the respect the disrespect towards him hmm why didn't ek do all these things to Ilebaye the first week the second week ek is a is a grown-up adult he is um a street guy he's street smart ek is intelligent ek knows that he's an art cast when it comes to the pepper them group why would he want to stick out his neck for them um, show you in that manner guys you guys should ask yourself questions all i can see is ek trying to sabotage Messi's game because he said over his dead body will Messi win the show and this is it for me sealed and stamped that is it for me there's no explanation he's going to give to me right now because this guy is an adult who are at his age now now na, na picking they do that kind of or people in high school that go and fight their friends but who they fight an adult they go fight on that person but then pay you do you understand for a game like it should a, a game should like them pay you they don't pay you so he knows what he's doing he knows what he's doing and funny enough here before he carried out that stuff he was having a conversation with mercy close to the ho hatred and uh, Messi was like, see, this version of EK, you you guys have seen you guys have seen it's a cool version of EK. I think um Angel was there. Angel was there and they had I don't know if Kidware was there or I don't know who else was there. So she was like, ah, by now Messi um EK for don't catch strike. But I don't know why I never see catch strike. EK not say not true. I never I never get strike or never catch strike. And I think that got into his head. So he decided to do what he did. And I said, okay, let me let him use this opportunity to catch track for the main for a good reason to sabotage Messi's game. This is all I see. Oh, I don't see any other thing. Of course, in explanation when they explain, no makes sense to me. Okay, let's finish off this whole talk with the conversation that um she had with Kidwire. She was saying that if he had heard doing insult or doing involve um Benita's children, he would have gone for doing and um kidway was like oh that little girl that little girl that little girl sheena said that they don't deserve an apology from ek and i said that small stupid one like trying to insult call um trying to say that Ilebe has stupidity ah, guys what do you think what do you think what do you think honestly see this house eh? this house do not fight anyone's battle and like i said to you ike is well informed well knowledgeable i don't think he fought anyone's battle Chige. and he's still yes insisting that they don't deserve an apology for me i think um Eleven deserves an apology because of what he did he, mm, he, he crossed the line he crossed the line don't go carry someone else's property I know he crossed the line that was my only just like you going to hit someone that's just what he did going to carry someone, else, uh, someone else's property you can do whatever you want to do plot let the person you can dig your hand let the person fall into it but don't be the one to push the person with your hand into into it. that's what the problem is that's what the problem is okay i don't know because she hmm. Well, I do. Even Kid Wire. The this show has a lot of villain this season. I don't even know who is it. I don't even know who to speak for or who not to speak for. I don't even know. Is it Perry? Is it she? Is it Kid Wire? Even Cross. Cross is there acting in, innocent. How can someone tell me Cross is innocent? Don't he's trying to speak for Cross? Cross is innocent. How is that possible? Cross was part of the plot. Did he show them up? No. If you're part of the plot, it didn't shut them up. And this girl thinks you guys are cool. You're there for him, for her. Guys, let's do. Let's be realistic. What Cross did isn't it worse than what Venita did? Because for me, I didn't, I didn't really see anything what Venita did. Though Venita does not owe Ileba anything. Do you understand? She clearly said she doesn't want to be part of this. Just she doesn't want to be involved. It's just like you seeing your neighbor beating up a wife. Are you going to go there? I mean, you you, you just settle matter. And you know the kind of neighbor you have they are erratic you guys have had is issues especially the wife ah, i don't know sometimes 
you pick you choose and pick your battle that's what i think anyways guys i beg let's leave it here let's end it here and i will see you guys in another video please like this video if you're here to do so bye bye